Okay, let's block in now the landmarks, basic landmarks. So, uh, so not all of them. There's a chart in the book with all the landmarks, right? And it's on page. Um, there's a simple one, uh, which is oh, cool. see, this is the center line of gravity as seen from the side. See that? So it cuts. We're gonna draw this eventually in detail, right? but it cuts through the body like this and uh, ends up here at the feet. Uh, going between, so the center line of gravity start at the highest point of the of the head, which is not the center of the head. It's a little bit posterior compared to the maximum, the width of the head. See that a little bit posterior here. Mm -hmm. It goes down. It's like a like the chakra. The the you see the 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 yoga thing, right? Where the where you see the the that that line that goes through the spine, pretty much like that. Um, it goes between the jaw and the ear hole. See that? Jaw and the ear hole. It goes to the front of the um, joint, of the shoulder joint. It goes in, cuts in the middle of the trochanter. And then it, it exits at the below the knee, at the tuberous of the tibia. And now it's external. Um, this helped me in kind of seeing the... The, the 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 balance of the figure but also see how if i have this line here's reference i, I realize i realize that the shoulder is quite posterior in relation to the body because 